hapon sa iyong lahat. Hello everybody, it's like almost one o'clock here in America. What I wanted to share with you today is this is not going to be your typical how to assemble your K-1 visa, I-29F fiance visa packet, okay? If you want that or you probably ended up here looking for that, there's hundreds of those on YouTube. I could do just like everybody else and show you this is my packet, this is my table of contents, this is what I put here, this is what I put there. But like I said, you can find hundreds of those. So what I'm going to do is something a little different. I'm going to give you, this is like on a, this is like gold on a silver platter, if that makes sense. I'm going to give you information that's going to help you way beyond just showing you how I assembled my fiance visa packet. What I'm going to give you is, I'm going to give you three resources that's really going to help you in putting your packet together. And not only your packet, but it's going to help you before, during, and after your packet. So there's people that do fiancé visa packets, and then they'll do, oh, my interview, or oh, uh, St. Luke's, my medical exam. I mean, they do all these multiple videos. I'm going to skip all that. I'm going to give you everything at once, okay? So let me just tell you three resources that helped us through the process. The first two, not directly regarding the packet, but places where we found information, we got questions answered. So number one is visajourney.com. I'll, uh, let's see, I'll put a picture now. Picture. Visajourney.com is a place where you can go and you can see people that are going through the same scenario with you applying for, whether it be the K-1 visa or K-2 visa. But anyway, you can see their timeline. So it gives you an idea. If you're doing a K-1 and you're from, let's say, Texas, I don't know if Texas does has a service center anymore. I think they discontinued that. But let's just say you live somewhere here in the States and you're going to be processed in California and your fiance is in the Philippines, for an example. You can see other people that are being processed in California and fiance is from the Philippines and see how long it has taken them or how long it took them. Maybe they're already done. So you can get an idea of how long it takes, the baseline of time. Also what can happen on visajourney.com is you create your own timeline. So you can create a timeline and I'll, if I haven't shown you already, I'll, I'll show a picture of our timeline. But it's just a way of keeping up with your timeline of how things are going and compared to others. Visajourney.com will also give you an estimated time based on all your demographics that you plug in. How long they expect your petition to be approved. Visajourney.com will give you a, an estimated timeline of when they think your visa will be approved, your fiancé visa. And they do this based on visas that came before you, same, you know, U.S., same processing center in California, let's say, and your fiancé is from the Philippines. If, if you have no hiccups and everything goes smoothly, then they give you an estimated time. We expect it'll take about this long based on the visas before you. So that's pretty cool. And then also there's a forum. So you can also communicate with other people on there. You can ask questions. You can get feedback. It's a big community of people processing their visas. So that's number one very helpful resource. Number two helpful resource is going to be a Facebook page called, I believe it's Visa Questions Answered, something like that, K-1 Visa Questions Answered. I'll drop that link. So visajourney.com link will be below. This Facebook link will be below. And also I should be popping up some pictures of what they look like. So there is a big community on Facebook of people applying for their I-129F fiancé visa packets. And also there are K-2 visas on there too. So there's, there's both groups of people. But it's a really good community of people to talk to. If you have questions, there's people, maybe their fiancé is already here in America or wherever, and they're already married, but they still kind of follow the group and answer questions just to help people because they've been there, done that. And then there may be somebody that's, you know, getting ready to go for their interview, but they finished St. Luke's, they finished the whole packet being mailed in, and you're just starting. So they offer information to you also. So very helpful. That's number two. Number three, this is the golden part. Number three is this website. This girl put together this website and it's phenomenal. It has everything. Let me see, I'm gonna look at it real quick. So it has the I-129F fiance visa 
petition checklist, okay? The NVC and CEAC status tracker, you're gonna need that, how to track your, your packet. Then she has even further broken it down to your payment at BPI, your visa payment, how to schedule your K-1 visa interview, your exam at St. Luke's, a checklist for that, a walkthrough of the experience, you know, how to track your visa once you go for your interview at the embassy, and I, I believe she has on there what to expect, what to bring. There's also a checklist for that. Also, how to track your visa after that. So they tell you, okay, you're approved. When you get your approval, and they let you know your visa is gonna be mailed to you, you can either have it mailed to your house, or you can have it mailed to a to-go. Uh, if you're in the Philippines, you know what that is, a to-go station or a store. Um, so she tells you how to track that. So, you know, like I said, I could do like everybody else on YouTube and do one video on how I assembled our, our packet. We could get Jess to do a video on her experience at St. Joe's. We could do another video on the interview experience. We could do another video on a checklist for all these things. So there's so many videos you can do. I, I don't feel the need to make all those different videos. I, I feel the need to help everybody in the best way possible and this is it I mean this girl on this website has broken everything down she's laid it out in front of you you shouldn't have any questions after reviewing her site I mean it's that I mean she breaks it down with pictures checklists everything and if you do have questions then go back to point one and two that I told you visa journey and the k1 visa questions answered on Facebook and that's what we did so I just used those three resources. I didn't use a company to process our visa. I didn't hire a lawyer. I just used these three resources and everything was fine for us. So I'm gonna drop all the links below. So the website that this girl breaks everything down is, it's called Miss M-R-S Presson, P-R-E-S-S-O-N. She did a phenomenal job, way better than I could have done. Are, are way better than I want to do you know I, I didn't want to sit here and make all these checklists and make multiple videos showing you every single process when this girl has done it and it's done it's just there and it worked for us so it should work for you so what I'm gonna do is put all three links below this should get you through your whole process and um, this information on Miss Preston's website misspreston.com is golden golden information so I hope this helps it even she even tells you uh, let me go back she even mentions the CFO seminar which all Filipinas have to go through before they can fly out so um, this information is golden I promise you you know forget all those other videos of how you know watching this person how they assembled their their packet you know what they recommend for the checklist I, this is your one-stop shop promise done so I'm gonna put all the links below I'm gonna put some pictures up of the the web pages so you get an idea of what it looks like and um, if you have any questions hit us up below let us know we'll try to answer anything we can but um, I, I think this these these three resources will kind of null and void everything any questions you have and problems you have so I hope it helps you guys as much as it helped us and again like if this helps subscribe if you want to keep seeing more information i mean we we kick out some information on the k1 stuff but the youtube is so diluted with with that information um, we don't do much of it and that's why i'm doing this video is to give you the most ingredients you can it's like the most bang for your buck in my video versus doing multiple videos on every process so let me know if this helps share this video if this helps you and you want to help somebody else don't hesitate to share we, we really want to help people and um subscribe if you like what we're doing and you know some of our other videos okay so hope you have a good day hope this helps let us know if it helps let us know if it didn't help if you think there's something else we could add to it okay all right for now peace paalam tarana tapos na okay so if you'll take a look at the top of the screen you'll see the third over is immigration that's your most important tab You'll get a drop down menu uh, if you hover over that immigration or click on it, you'll get a drop down menu. From there, you'll get multiple things. You'll see K1 Fiance, Visa, I 129F. I mean, and all these menus have sub menus. So, super, super helpful. Take a look over all that and see that should help you and answer all of your questions. And one of the things I failed to mention is there's also AOS information in that same drop-down menu. So for adjustment of status, 
you will find everything you need to do for that too. So hope this helps and have a great day.